Happening now, President Joe Biden making a stop in South Florida, Air Force One, touched down at Miami International Airport a couple of hours ago. It's a pretty short visit for the president for some fundraisers to fuel his reelection bid. But his time is not without controversy. Already, pro Palestinian protesters are in the neighborhood calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister has been monitoring that area for hours now. Anna, what's the situation there? Good evening, Naja and Elliot. Things have changed quite a bit just in the last few minutes. There was a protest going on with pro-Palestinian supporters, but that was quickly uh, uh, dispersed, I should say, when these groups over here, you could see that there are some Miami-Dade police uh, special forces over here on this front lawn. They came over, uh, kind of kind of breaking up this protest that was going on. Uh, we had the pro-Palestinian side, then there were some counter-protesters that showed up. People started getting really close and yelling at each other, getting each other's faces. And we actually spoke to one of the leaders of this group with the pro-Palestinian, and she was actually telling me that they will not be voting for Joe Biden, despite the fact that he's here campaigning, trying to raise money for re-election. Take a listen to what she had to say. We came out here tonight because it's a blatant act of imperial hubris, quite frankly, to be holding a fundraiser in the middle of helping to perpetrate a genocide as Joe Biden is doing. We're here to demand a ceasefire and an end to U.S. military aid to Israel. And you can see there's still that group of Miami-Dade police officers monitoring the situation. This all happened very quickly. That group of protesters quickly dispersed. There were about maybe 10 to 15 of them. Uh, some people were actually coming up to us earlier yelling as well. So a lot of emotions here, um, a very controversial topic here, especially in South Florida. And as I mentioned, President Joe Biden is here in South Florida. He'll be going to a closed door campaign event. And Tomorrow, we're actually expecting to see Republican candidate uh, Nikki Haley. She'll be here in Miami hitting two campaign events of her own. But for now, reporting live from Coral Gables, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami.